First day of racing has finally arrived after a blowout yesterday. We've got perfect conditions, 15 to 25 knots. Hopefully some nice flat water. The guys are all getting in, the, in on the newly uh, installed ramp here. A bit of nervous energy in the park. I think guys have been sitting in the uh, boat shed for too long. Too much boat work and they're really keen to get out there and have a crack today. So let's go out and see what these guys are going to perform like. Okay, we're getting close now to the start. First race of the 2018 Bacardi Moss World Titles here in Bermuda. 18 to 22 nights, maybe a little bit more of this rain squall. Everyone's behaving themselves so far. The time for boat work is over and we are racing. Let's go. He's got to get up. He's got to get through the gate. He can't get down there. He's just gone straight through. This breeze is really nuked in. Chewy looks like he's just exiting stage right, going down to the club. These guys are really finding it hard to bail out of this. Oh, Chewy, gone! Bruni's going uphill. Here he goes for the bear away. He's got his bow around. He's trying to line up that left-hand gate. There he goes. He's got it down. Can he survive these next couple of waves? He's done a great job there. The first race goes to Paul Goodison, the current world champion in very trying conditions here on the Great Sound in Bermuda. Victor, the little gnome, he's pumped. Big fist pump there for a fourth for Victor. And here's Gooby, after leading, has come back. Something's gone wrong and he's ended up in fifth place, but the good news is he's on the water. Everyone's starting to rack up now. The breeze is increasing to probably 20 knots. Five, four, three, two, one. Racing, Peyton Ada coming in late, but a nice job there by Ben Peyton, great start. Just held back a little bit, oh, he just put a wing in. Will he get it through? No way he's gonna get through there. He's got all sorts coming at him. He's gonna have to take about 35 bows, a stern's on. Peyton Ada's going back up again. Just crossing over in front of Peyton Ada. Obviously had some dramas between races and he's only just starting now. Big bear away to get into the finish. Oh, he's gonna lose it. He just survived getting in around the bottom of that start boat and he's off. A bit of a heart in the moment stuff there for Simon. Wouldn't like to smash into that at doing 20 odd knots. She'd be splinters. He needs to rewrite the boat. I don't think he's gonna be able to. He's swimming hard, but Funky Bird has taken third spot. Just got to get over the line, and there he is. Brad Funk in for a third. He's having a good regatta too. Loves these heavy airs. And we've also got Kai Adolf tipping right on the mark. Not good, Kai. He's supposed to go around it and through it. So now he has to go back up win. Tack is exhausted. Look at him. He couldn't lift a beer if he had to. So we've uh, made it back to the boat shed after what turned out to be a pretty hairy day. Two races, um, but luckily the uh, RCOs abandoned it because it started getting a little bit wild. And one of the guys who certainly was wild, we got some good footage of him uh, coming down the bottom mark, Jimmy McMillan. Jimmy, how are you, mate? Yeah, good, mate. How was that? Oh, mate, that was well on. Don't have ever sailed engines like that in my life. <laughs> really? You've got some damage, mate. It looks like you've attacked your boom with a hacksaw. What happened? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I gave my boom a little love tap down wind on a stack. And, uh, yeah. So you actually hit the boom and it just snapped. I think, I think so. Well, what happened so quick, I just got it both up and it was gone. We're here with Benmar Marie, the man with the funky boom. Benmar, how was that, mate? It was wild. <laughs> but it was, it was actually a lot of fun. So you've seen 30 knots of boat speed on the way out? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Wow, Pretty much. <laughs> but, uh, the, little, uh, the little travel out on the channel there looked a bit wild, it was yeah, pretty yeah, tight. Was wild. We're here with Brad Funk. Brad, you got a few layers on, mate. You're a bit cold, are you? Yeah, it was a, I thought Bermuda was a warm, sunny place, but this place is like in the middle of the ocean, so. Mate, how was that? It was a little bit nuclear out there at times. That was that was Moss Sailing, Square, NASCAR. Like, that was the, 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 the most racing that you can have with that kind of conditions in a Moss. 
deal with yet. I just try to keep the boat upright. That was the theme. That was my goal, my plan. So, uh, and the boat held together. That was the the other hope. Tick so, tick, mate. Tick tick. Yeah, tick tick. So, no, no just, boat work tonight and rest yeah. the body. Yes. It's all on again tomorrow. Oh, it will be on like Donkey Kong. Ah, <laughs> well done, mate. Good on you. Thank you. Well, that's it. An action-packed first day here in Bermuda. Paul Goodison defending his title has started very, very well with two wins. Let's see what tomorrow brings. All right, let's get this guy a nice drink. Are you up for it? Mate. A good man. Give me your best Bacardi. This is a Bacardi spice rum and ginger beer. Wow. One of the better drinks you're going to have for the day and probably for the best and the rest of your life. Hold on, let me finish with that. Got to get the elements working together, all right? Look at that. Doesn't Shaking, that look, not stirred. Doesn't that look good? That, ladies and gentlemen. It's a ginger spice. Is the gale. Bacardi rocks.